Okay, this is my Leopard Gecko's Terrarium. It's a 20 gallon long Zilla cage and I'm using reptile carpet as a substrate. I've got two hides, one on the warm side, it's a log. On the cool side, it's an exoterra hide. I've got calcium dish, water dish, and I've got a plant that they can go hide under too and it goes into the back corner for heating. I have a combo lamp, night bulb, day bulb. I've had this for a while, it's actually old. And the cage is old too, it's melting. I need to get a new one for them. And the temperature is constantly between 80 and 90, and right now it's at 83. And um, yeah, I guess I'll take them out and show you them. Uh, hold on, I'll just have to get them out. Alright, I'm going to show you my leopard geckos now. They're on my bed under their hide, so they wouldn't run away, I put them under it. But these are my two leopard geckos. Squirt is on the right, Spike is on the left, and Squirt's laying on them. Spike is a regular male, and they're three years old each, they're brother and sister. I got them two days apart, and I... Yeah, these two were my first reptiles, and they started my obsession. Squirt is extremely nice. She's high yellow, carrot tail, and she's got some cool pattern. She's really nice, and she knows me when I go to her cage. She runs over to the side and looks at me, and then Spike is a male. He has a temper, though. Like, he doesn't like to be held, but he used to be extremely mean, and now he's actually handleable, but I drop him sometimes because he just runs, so I always hold him over my bed. Um... He's regular, as I said before. And they're a couple inches long. And they're full grown, I guess. Um, so that's Spike right there. And this is Squirt. Uh, comment this vid. Tell me what you think about them. Any suggestions on how I can improve my care. If there's anything wrong with them, I'll take that. And just don't be a jerk or anything. I think I'm doing pretty good taking care of them. Thanks for watching.